Hello all and today we will look into the interview question. A unsorted array is given. We need to find kth largest element. So let's understand this uh, question with an example. Let's suppose if input sequence is like this and if k equal to 4 which means we need to find fourth largest element. So output would be 6. Similarly in the same input sequence if k equal to 3 then output would be 8 right. Before you start looking into the solution part we would recommend you to pause this video right now and you can try yourself first. And now let's see the most efficient solution of this problem where we can solve this in linear time. This method we can call as quick select method. So this solution came out from a quick sort mechanism. So let's see step by step. So as we uh, used to do in quick sort, at first we'll decide a pivot element. After that we'll bring all the greater elements of pivot element towards right and all the smaller element towards left side. So after step one process, uh, we will be having a pivot element at the right position in the input sequence. Now uh, we will look into the second step. So if size of uh, right sub array is equal to k minus 1, what does that mean? It means that our pivot element is nothing but kth largest element. So in that case, we need to simply return that pivot element. And if size of the right sub array is greater than k minus 1, then in that case, we can completely ignore the left sub array. Why? Just because of our kth largest element will be uh, there in the uh, right sub array, right? Take this right sub array and we'll repeat the same process starting from step 1. So this is our recursive process. And else, if uh, size of right sub array is lesser than k minus 1 then in this case we can ignore right sub array and in left sub array instead of searching for kth largest element we have to search for k minus size of right sub array minus one largest element so if you will observe this process then what we are doing at any point of time we are completely ignoring one set of uh, sub array whether it is a left or right it depends on the condition so if you'll keep on doing this then we will find out our answer in linear time let's quickly understand our steps uh, with an example let's suppose if you are looking for third largest value our selection of pivot element uh, would be something like this where i is n minus 1 by 2 if n is odd or it will be n by 2 if n is even so in first pass uh, our pivot element will be 5 and our input sequence is this then we do swap uh, pivot element with the last element of the input sequence right so 5 will come here and 4 will be here so after this our sequence will be 8 13 6 4 9 1 and 5 and we'll place our i pointer here and j will be here this i will keep on uh, moving till it will point uh, element value which is a greater than uh, pivot element and similarly j will keep on uh, decrementing till it's point out to the element value which is a lesser than this so right now both are satisfying their condition then after that we need to swipe uh, elements value of i and j so after this sequence will be looking like this and then we need to increment i first so it will get incremented till here 13 similarly we have to uh, decrement j value so we will decrement by 1 so it will be pointing uh, to 9 but 9 is not lesser than 5 then we need to decrement again j value and now j will be pointing here swipe this and after swipe uh, our sequence will be looking like this i will get increment and it will point here and currently j is pointing here 13 now uh, it has to decrement so it will come here uh, it will point 6 but 6 is not lesser than 5 then uh, decrement one more time and it will point here and as we know that uh, this uh, process will break as soon as index of uh, this i value is greater than j and after that uh, we need to uh, swap a pivot element uh, with element which is pointed by i so now 5 will come here and j will be shifting here so here 5 has reached to its right place and if you see then all the elements towards right is greater than 5 and all the elements towards left is lesser than 5 right size of right subtree is 4 and our key is 3. That means we need to ignore this left sub array completely and we will pick only this in our next iteration. And I will repeat the same process uh, with this input. So here our pivot element will be 8. So let's swap this uh, pivot element with the last element of this input sequence. It will look like this. So initially i will be here and j will be here. We need to swap these elements. And now we need to increment i value. So i will be pointing to uh, 9 j will point here then after that the pivot element which is 8 it will get swapped with this element 9 so after swap the sequence will look like this and here now we need to go for a second step so this is the right subtree so the size of the right subtree is true 
so it is satisfying uh, the first case where size of r is equal to k minus 1 so we have to return 8 in this case this solution time complexity uh, is uh, linear time in case of average and best case but this solution will have time complexity as order of n square in worst case so if you have to optimize this uh, from order of n square to linear time then we have to work on pivot selection strategy so there is something called randomized quick select method and in this what we do uh, we do select pivot element randomly so for that we can call rand function and in this we should pass starting index and the last index of the input sequence on which we are currently working on and when we will execute this uh, rand function then it will uh, generate any random number between p and q and that number would be index of our pivot element and rest of the process we have to follow sms the last one so selecting pivot element uh, through randomized uh, functions proves that the expected time of this will be order of and proof link uh, i have mentioned in the description below so there is one mit video lecture please go through that they have explained it very well why this randomized quick select uh, expected time is order of n there is another way to select pivot elements which we call median of medians algorithm so this strategy also will bring down burst time complexity from order of n square to linear time so let's quickly see how do we select pivots element in this algorithm so in step one uh, what we do uh, we divide list into n by 5 list where each list will be having a five elements but in last list uh, you may have a, a lesser than five elements also after that we need to sort each and every uh, list in step two and in step three we will be taking a median element from the list which will be there at third place in every list except last one if last list doesn't have five elements if size of last list is odd then median will be there at n plus one by two position and if it is even then we can take a median which is there at n by two position or n by two plus one position okay so this is only for last list now once we will take a median from each and every list then we will be forming a, another list after that we will repeat our step one process and we will be keep on doing this till we get one uh, single median value for this list so if we'll take our input sequence as an example then what the first thing first we need to do we will be dividing this list into two lists one list will have element starting from eight to nine and the second list will be having a two elements one and four then we'll sort this uh, list one and after sorting the sequence will be 5 6 8 9 13 and similarly we will be doing for the second list as well after sorting it will be 1 and 4 then we will take a median value uh, from this list 1 which will be 8 and in list 2 let's take value 4 as in median and after that it will be form new list where we have a element value 8 and 4 then again we have to repeat this process so luckily here uh, we got only two elements so we don't have to break uh, this new list to uh, any more after that uh, we'll follow the second step which will be sorting so after sorting it will be four and eight and after that we need to take median value which will be eight so in our iteration first uh, the pivot value will be eight obviously once you select the pivot element uh, then the rest of the process is the same and whichever sub array will pick for the next iteration on that iteration we have to apply median of median algorithms again so if you select pivot element uh, using median of medians algorithm which will handle our worst case uh, very well and because of that the time complexity will be order of n so here we have understood the most efficient solution of this problem and guys if you wanted to see other solutions as well in which we have solved the same problem uh, but in different approach you can find the link in right side of yours and if you have not subscribed our channel yet so please do that and please hit the bell icon as well thank you once again and see you in next video